Live team coverage continues now in the case of Elias Acevedo. He is one that has apparently led to a number of old mysteries now being solved. Hey, but there are mysteries that may have never been solved or not for a new state program and a friendly calendar. News Channel 5 John Kosick joins us now more with that angle. Yeah, Chris, and both were needed in this case where old evidence got new life. For nearly 20 years, a box much like this one sat on a shelf in this Cleveland police evidence room. Inside, DNA gathered in the 1993 rape of a Cleveland woman near West 7th and Quigley. The box would collect dust until late 2011. That's when State Attorney General Mike DeWine put out a call to police departments across the state for them to send to BCI their untested rape kits. The Cleveland police, that was a lot of boxes. But rape cases can't be prosecuted if they're older than 20 years. Some decisions were made because of statute of limitations to start with uh, 1993 cases and work our way forward. Lieutenant Jim McPike is in charge of the Cleveland Police Special Victims Section. When we sat down with him in April, he expressed hope over what some of these old boxes might yield. We fully expect stuff where we might have a, an unknown offender from today and we get a hit from a 93, 94 case where it was a named suspect. Well, that's going to help us solve other cases as well. As McPike spoke in April down at PCI, a 1993 rape kit was being tested, the one from West 7th and Quigley. The match would come back to 49-year-old Elias Acevedo, but there was something else investigators noticed. The rape took place at the same location where Ms. Pemberton's body was found. Pamela Pemberton, whose body was found a year after that rape in October of 94. In addition, investigators found Acevedo lived in a Vega Avenue home connected to the 1993 rape case, but also one sources confirmed the FBI searched in 1995 following the disappearance of Christina Atkins. Atkins' ID was found with a body discovered last week in an area prosecutor McGinty says Acevedo helped lead them to. It was in a location that we would never, may never have found it without his assistance. Uh, and they, obviously it hadn't been found for almost 19 years. Roughly the same length of time that the rape kit that would set this investigative ball in motion sat on an evidence room shelf. And police say it wasn't until around 2002 that they actually started the used DNA testing in rape cases. So far, statewide, nearly a third of those rape kits tested have come back with positive hits. On your side, John Kasich, News Channel 5.